I trust all's well. About as well as can be expected. Good for you. Mr. Pearson! Yes! Think you're losing your touch. How so? Well, it's been at least six months since you killed anyone with Hello. your cooking. <laughs> Don't tempt me, you repulsive little maggot. I love you too. My lady. So, you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered up. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Yep. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. <laughs> uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. So we're working on a plan for that train you told me about. Oh, I was wondering about that. It sounded worth a look. For sure. You did good. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay then. Get me the hell out of here! 
Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking in my boots. You son of a bitch! You best hope I never get out of here! Damn you! Defenseless man.
Mister? Hi, boy. Just stay calm. It's okay. Don't worry. Now. Easy, easy. 
Try that again now. This way, girl. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. Just get out of my way. I fought for you. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry. Get on your way. Can I get a few cents? Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. Can I get a buck, mister? Hi. 
Let's move. Come on, girl. Follow me. What you staring at? Move along! The Driscoll boys. <laughs> You might have just saved my life, stranger. You're a gentleman. They won't bother you no more. <laughs> if, if only there was more men like you, and less of them damn old Driscolls. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see to my ailings. Thank you, mister. Really. good on a horse's knees to let him get that fat. I'm all out of space. If you ain't got papers, I can't give you much. I've been burned before. I'll take care of these for you, like they're my own. here shed enough tears on your account just passing through don't want no problem yeah Hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but, but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? Well, I ain't promising nothing, but... I'll see what I can do. There's a logging camp over in Big Valley, pretty much straight west of here, that might have lumber for sale.
Bye, then. I'll keep an eye out for that lumber. I appreciate it. I swear, he's crazy. We don't have to work now. Well, it looks like you're almost finished. Now we're broke. I swear, we'll never be rid of this place. So, yeah. Place is looking good. We're done if we don't get more money. Anyway. Yep. before it is too late. Our numbers are waning thanks to the fools in Congress and their ninjas. ludicrous no. ideas. Damn. But today, we grow one yeah. stronger yeah. as we yeah. anoint a new brother yeah. into you know our it. sacred cult. Step forward and kneel. Right. <laughs> Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. <laughs> All right. Come on. Yeah. Let here we go. The eternal ah. light shine. Yeah. 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 Watched a good man die and did nothing.
Let's go, girl. Yep. Now, you ain't wanted here, you understand? Okay, okay, keep your hair on. Easy, easy. Excuse me, partner. Howdy. Look out! You remind me of a feller I used to know. Sorry. Can't put my finger on it. Take care.
East, whoa. Easy. partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all hmm. focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well I say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own Plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. Girl?
Yep. Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? We're starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for him. Hmm. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. I'm leaving. Don't work too hard. There ain't much danger of that with this bunch, my friend. Hey, mister. Good morning, mister. Hey, howdy. Hey there, partner. Morning, sir. Working hard there. The devil makes work for idle hands. Well, good luck to you. Goodbye, then. Looks like hard work. How else you get paid? Anyway, don't let me disturb you. Bye. Very good. We can really use these.
Beste. Move! Good morning. Hey there. Don't think this day can get much worse. Well, no use complaining about it. Thanks. Just the way it goes sometimes. See ya. Hey. Good morning, partner. Good day, dear. How do you do? Let's go, girl. Yep. Whoa, easy. off that horse all right fellas let's not do anything hasty i ain't for asking again get down easy i'm getting down put the hands up like you was witnessing in church
finding that lumber for us? This was a bad idea from the start. No lumber, but I guess I can lend you some money. All right, here you go. But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. I can't believe this. Looks like you're almost done. I sure hope so. God, I can't wait to get out of here. Well, anyway. Easy now. You come to an O'Driscoll camp looking for trouble. Feed it! Go now! You don't want to run and race with a bullet. Yep. Just leave him. I think he shot his pants. Shh, okay, girl. Shh.
Still reading? I've taken a break. But yes, I plan to keep reading. Is it, uh, fun? It's amazing. It's the reason worth living. It's, it's the only thing that makes me happy. So the only thing that makes you happy is being in your head somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I never thought of it quite like that. You never read? No, I never fancied it. But you can. Well, I could, if I chose to. I've just not chosen to. <laughs> well, maybe one of us will teach you. Mary Beth. Hey, Arthur. Sometimes I wonder why you stick with us reprobates. Oh, you ain't so bad. Anyway, shouldn't put ideas in your head. All right, Arthur. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. So you're heading to the wagon now? Soon, yeah. Okay. Uncle? Ah, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Swanson. When are you gonna get your act together? I'm just minding my own business here. Arthur? There he is. Arthur. We are gonna need to get some food or money soon enough or we are gonna have a revolution on our hands. Hi, Mr. Morgan. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Arthur. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you 
Do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> We'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. the water there? You mean? You show me where, Uncle Arthur. I can't wait to get started. Well, first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Jack is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? 
Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. I see. I see. Did you see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try my luck over there. This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and Wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. You've got a fight, Uncle Arthur. Whoop, think I got one. What? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little 
Old-fashioned nowadays. Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Can we go now, please? I don't like it here anymore. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> you see that deer? This necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? Huh. Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. 
We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Hi, Dutch. Morning, Arthur. Hope you're working on a plan there. Trying to. Anyway, won't disturb you. I don't really care right now. How are you? Hey. Not good. Hey. It ain't easy being me. That you last two I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. We'll make a cook of you yet. Sure, well, as you were. I hear you saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. <sighs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. Morning, Mother. You okay? Don't forget about all that money out there. You cook all of course day, not. Mr. Pearson. Anyway, you know what to do. Sounds good. Good morning to you. Good morning, Arthur. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Let me know if you find candy. Piece of snow, huh? Howdy. Kieran. Keep your mouth shut, and you might survive the week. Hey, come on. Just know we're watching you. You take care now, Arthur. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. <laughs> We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. All right, well, I should be getting on. I suppose. How are you holding up? Not very well. well I'm sorry. It'll get better eventually. Okay, well, let's talk more later. If you say so. John, heard you took Jack out fishing. Somebody had to do something with that kid. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Hi, Molly. Morning, Arthur. Smile. Things could be worse. I'll smile when I got reason to. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sorry, ain't much company right now. Hello. Hiya. Look, everything's gonna be all right. I know. You'll be good now. Okay, Uncle hey. Arthur. Can I talk to you a minute? Not again, Abigail. Not ever. Just leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Arston? What? That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with it now. Hello, Mr. Strauss. Bet you never thought you'd end up here, huh? I didn't know where I'd end up. Funny how things turn out. Okay, Mr. Morgan. One night when I was frisky From too much poked and whiskey 
like waves on the Bay of Biscay. I began to tumble and roar. My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobster. My watch from my fob was Pixar. Uncle anymore. Morgan, a drink in your hand. What a surprise! Yeah. Just taking the edge off. Uh, Save some for the rest of us. All right, then. to try it. I'll live on a mile. Did you see that diet. woman, Mary Gillis, about it? Hold a drink, yes. but I'll yes, deny I did. it. I, I know. The you already told me that. Door. Ideas above her that station. Is where above anyone's station, us. that one. He made all the jolly good fellas. Well, I should get back to it. But I, by the poker and bellas, I'll never get drunk anymore. I think it sounds very interesting. Always good to see you. Hey. Hang in there. We'll be back on track soon. I'm fine, Arthur. Don't worry about me. I know it's been a bad run. Sure thing. Hey, folks. Come Hello, Arthur. Off. Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. Okay. You're up to something, Miss Jackson. Yes. See you later. What are you doing with them knives, my friend? Poisoning the tips. Why? Makes for a quicker kill. You could take down a bear with one of these. You hit it in the right spot. Interesting. Get me some oleander. I'll show you how to make some. Pretty easy. Thanks, Javier. Claro. Well, don't let me bother you. Okay, then. <laughs> 